uh, Vian, what would be a few strategies one could um, employ in either mitigating or overcoming biases while taking such crucial strategic decisions? So strategies for it, or strategies for individuals and for organizations can be different. But they spring from the same, from some principal ideas. And the single most important principal idea is that second thoughts are better. And what is meant by second thoughts, obviously, is the outcome of deep thinking of reconsideration, careful reflection, re-examining one's underlying assumptions, keeping an open mind for alternatives, and actively seeking other points of view. These are good de-biasing strategies. Right. Careful and deeper thinking allows one to discover erroneous assumptions and uncover alternatives that one may not have considered earlier. Seeking others' views is a view is a way of challenging one's assumptions and to rigorously examine pros and cons of various choices. Right. But it doesn't come easy. It doesn't come easy because we remain supremely confident of our choices, of our wisdom, okay. of our experience. Right. Organizations, some <clears throat> actually inculcate this culture of vigorous discussion and constructive debate before making important decisions. Right. Some of them, another strategy they use is to appoint a devil's advocate. Right. A person that is known to be opposed to the proposal. Okay. He or she is appointed the devil's advocate and their, her job is to present to the group and argue why the proposed actions might prove costly for a variety of reasons. Another suggestion some academics have made, and one of them that I, that I value, whose opinion I value greatly, is Gary Klein. They suggest a strategy called pre-mortem. Yeah. And this is an interesting uh, approach, Vinay. Yeah. Here, a group of people are asked to place themselves at a time in the future. And imagine that the strategy being proposed, proposed today has failed miserably. Now they're asked to articulate various reasons why it failed. And this method is particularly useful in uncovering unforeseen pitfalls ahead of time. So Daniel Kahneman, Perhaps the father of behavioral economics recommends one should slow down thinking okay. and take time over important decisions. Once you allow yourself time, you can reflect, you can contemplate, you can ask people, you can take other opinion, you can do some more research and so on. Very good uh, tips. So in some sense, the ancient uh, wisdom of sleeping over uh, a decision perhaps uh, could capture some of these aspects. Indeed, indeed, absolutely. Yeah. But if I just look at various uh, tips that you gave, I'm just trying to see maybe sleeping over is a little easy, but do you think um, talking to others, is that the tougher thing for an individual usually? Suppose I'm overconfident in really getting, yes. yeah? Yeah. Indeed. See, we will only come bring ourselves to talk to others right. if we have an iota of doubt. And that iota of doubt can only be created by reflection. That's true. So the two go hand in hand. Yeah. But it is not about, it, is, it must be remembered that one should not consult people just for the sake of consultation. That's we right. must seek out people right. who may not possess the same kind of biases as we do. Okay. Who have a different context, right. who have a variety of experiences, whom you may consider, we may consider wiser. But wise wisdom is not necessarily a function of age. 
Yeah. Simply because somebody is not in quite the same place and time as we are, can imbue wisdom on the other person. That's a very so, good point, yeah. Yeah, one of the things that I like to say is that a prerequisite for consulting others is high self-esteem. Okay. Hmm. Interesting. You're saying um, I should be um, feeling good, first of all, before I approach uh, somebody else. Okay, that's a very good point. Yeah, I, I mean, if we are weak inside, yeah. We will always tell ourselves we know better and there is no need to consult someone. Yes. Yeah. In some sense, we, I'm, I'm afraid that I'm, my weakness can be exposed in the process. And yes. My, yeah. I may be fearful of Or if someone does advise me, yeah. I may reject that suggestion. That's correct. I, I, very good tips, uh, Vian. Um, any, um, I mean, we are sort of close.